Hi guys, welcome to another reaction to a first look from a CBS TV show for 2015. Uh, this one's going to be Limitless. Um, okay. Based on the 2011 feature, feature film, Limitless follows Brian Finch as he discovers the power of his mysterious drug NZT. In this new drama from executive producer Bradley Cooper explores what happens when a man unlocks his limitless potential. This fall on CBS. Let's see how this looks. Can you remember what it's like to be inside your mother's womb? That's terrifying. Imagine a life. Have you ever thought about why people have to age? Is it inevitable? That's not something like that. And without limits. You're on the verge of having a life that most people can't even begin your to imagine. Your eyes are so pretty, Rebel. Oh, look, another white guy. What the hell are you offering me? You're offering me one pill. So what's it going to be, Brian? Don't worry. One white guy gives another white guy the power to be completely amazing. This conversation is here and nowhere else. You describe it to your parents, the FBI, to anyone. I will let you die more painfully than you can fathom. It doesn't look like there's a fast way out here. What if suddenly you knew how much strength you had in your hands? I mean exactly how much. Don't move. Hands in the air. What if you could remember every documentary you ever saw? Every train class. Could you do the math? No. Could you figure out exactly where that train is going to stop? Once you know when the train is going to stop, there's an explanation for what you saw today. In ZT48, the program is called off after the first two fatalities. Find it. There's no turning back. Someone's killing these guys for their NCT. The first pill I took lasted about 12 hours. I have time to make one more move. I can't tell you who killed them, but I can tell you a lot. It's an arms race. Whoever created NCT may be out there giving it to anybody. But every time he takes it, he basically becomes the smartest person in the world. And only white guys get it. Let's make it our resource. Get a dose of the life. It started. Always wanted. It's about time you and me talked. Wow! Look, it's a white guy show with mostly white people. Yawn. I'm sorry, Bradley Cooper. You have amazing eyes. Oop. See, this is what's the problem when you're on one of these stupid little automatic movie that's just playing all of them. Um, yeah. Nope. Stop trying to play that. Stop it. Um, it's a white guy. Giving another white guy the ability to be amazing. Oh, congratulations. Does the guy deserve it at all? Probably not. He's probably someone who hasn't lived his life potential in any such way. And since he's a white guy, another white guy is going to give him the ability to be better. Yeah. Nope. Nope. I mean, I'm a white pale person saying there were too many white people on that. There was one black guy. Did he even speak? At all. Ten to one he ends up dead by the end. Cause usually if you have a bl if you have a person of color as your partner and it's a white guy show, he's probably going to end up dead. Unless we're in one of those interesting shows where he could just end up something else, who knows? But yeah, nope. Nope. I don't need more white people shows. I say that as a white person. I need more 
ethnically diverse shows, and I'd like more shows with leads who are not majority white. Especially if they're America-based, considering the majority of white is going down. So, nope. Nope. Haven't seen the movie. Don't want to see the TV show. Bradley Cooper, your eyes are amazing, but nope. See you later. Adios. Toodles. Bye.